as well as that, in conversation, people have asked me, you know, did I regret not going uni? And the answer was always no. I would have gone uni for the wrong reasons. I would have just gone to try and be a top shagger, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, I'm still top shagger without uni anyway, but uni, I would have been a different beast. In 2010, thought I was doing something. And now I'm rapping with a crew or something. I guess the track don't really stick unless he's gluing something. And I never fit the shoe until I do it. Right, so in today's vlog, we are going to be going over why I am leaving London after 21 years of living there. I've lived there my entire life, but I feel now is the time to announce that I will be leaving. Dun, dun, dun. I haven't officially left yet, but I'm currently staying in Plymouth just to look after the dog while my sister is away. So that explains the pink bed cover, bed sheets. Promise it's not mine. Not that there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you want to have pink bed sheets, you do use this stuff. But before we dive into the reasons as to why I'm leaving London, you know, what I'm going to do in terms of my work, etc., etc., I'm going to go to the coffee shop and grab myself a coffee because I've got a day of work ahead of me. I fancy a coffee and you can't go to a coffee shop with a dog. So I'm now going to go back out and get that. So. I will catch up with you probably around lunchtime to discuss this. Same old route on some new concrete, but homie, these tones make you get a new ID. I'm trying to do my thing, but the commute ain't cheap. I'm on a two day. Right, so that was a very, very productive morning, but it's just coming up to 10 past 12 now, and I need to head out and get some food and go on my lunch break. So, on that topic, I might as well talk about what I'm going to be doing in terms of work. So, as some of you might know, I currently work for the PTC, PT Collective. I am an intern there, which basically means I do a lot of things. So I'll do like admin stuff, I'll do social media stuff, I'll do filming, I'll do editing, I'll do graphics, whatever they need me to do. Basically, that's what an internship is. You just do loads of little different jobs. But with my work, it's actually predominantly remote work. So I can pretty much be wherever I want to do the jobs that I need to do. Obviously, if they need me for filming, I can just go down to London or wherever the filming is taking place, but that will be organized in time, so it doesn't really matter too much where I live, which was a big bonus for when I joined them because it was a big thing for me that, you know, I can work wherever I want as long as I get my work done. It doesn't even really matter what time I do my work. Obviously, you know, I have to be around at certain times, but most of the time, as long as I get my work done, they're pretty flexible, which is absolutely fantastic. But now, I'm gonna go get some food, because I am starving, so I will catch you there and probably have a little update later on as to where I'm going to be living and why I'm going to be living there. What do you, what you really know about me? Do you really see me? Do you really see me now? If only you could hear me out, we could be something like a harmony. Let's get into the macro reasons as to why I'm leaving London. And if anyone is wondering, I did end up getting a Biscoff cookie cake thing from Early Bird and it was absolutely naughty. Anyway, one of the main reasons that I'm leaving London is that I live at home with my mother and she has sold the house because my sister lives down here in Plymouth and my sister's got a little family now. So it just makes sense for my mum, you know, between London and Plymouth is about four or five hours, so it's quite a journey to do. So in a practical sense, it makes a lot of sense for my mum to move down here, and I'm not gonna argue against that. Which means I do not have a home to live in in London now. There is two options. I either move out of London, or I get a flat in London, which a few people have suggested to me, and you know, I've said, oh, why don't you just get a flat in London? It's because I'm simply not earning enough money to warrant living in London. And by this, I mean, everyone knows that in London, the prices of places is just absolutely extortionate and I could afford a place in London but then you've just then got to look at you know all right I can have this place in London but what is the quality of my life going to be you know if I'm paying this high rent and then I've only got this amount of money to do the things I want to do then is it really worth staying in London as well as that in conversation people have asked me you know did I regret not going uni and the answer was always no 
I would have gone uni for the wrong reasons. I would have just gone to try and be a top shagger, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, I'm still top shagger without uni anyway, but uni, I would have been a different beast. But I would have gone uni for the wrong reasons. However, the one part that I do envy about uni students is living away in your own place or living away with mates. I feel very almost stuck in the mud living at home, you know, I like living at home, obviously there's pros to that, but I find that whenever I go away and stay somewhere on my own, like I'm doing down here in Plymouth at the moment, I absolutely thrive in it. I like having my own space, I like being able to do things on my own, and even just stupid things like all the house chores, like, okay, sometimes they are boring and you can't be bothered to do them, but it just makes me feel so much more pro productive throughout the day, and it just, you know, there's just that sense of being on your own that's quite nice. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just... And back home, I've lived in that same house, the same area for about 20 years of my life. So I'm just bored of the people. No offense if you're from my area and you're watching. You just see the same people on nights out. You just see them, same people on the street. And sometimes it's nice, but equally, sometimes it's nice to just get away from all of that. Because oftentimes I think that people don't realize of how much of a product they can be of their environment as opposed to you know who they truly are. It's that sort of nature versus nurture argument, right? Well, that brings up the question of where am I gonna be living? Now, the obvious choice is to move down to Plymouth because here I could... The dog's interrupted me. The dog has interrupted the video. Oi, you, you've just interrupted the video, mate. What are you doing? Huh? You got anything to say on the camera? Huh? Huh? No, I didn't think so. Now, the first and most probably obvious choice is to move down to Plymouth. I've got my sister down here who I can stay here. I've got my mum who's gonna be buying a house down here. And I could probably afford a decent flat down here and still live a pretty decent lifestyle. However, there is a second location on the horizon that should be confirmed, hopefully, very, very soon. I hate to be that guy, but I can't really talk about it, but you will see very, very shortly where I will most likely be moving, and I am absolutely buzzing for it. Like I said, unfortunately, it's out of my hands. I can't talk about it. Such a classic YouTuber thing of like, talking about projects and events that can't happen, huh? But hey, I'm getting good at this game now, so you can't tell me I'm not. So you will need to stay tuned to the vlogs to find out where I should be moving very, very shortly. Like I said, I am absolutely buzzing for it, but I'm gonna go off and head to the gym now. I normally like training in the morning, but you know, I've been busy today, so I'm going in the evening. But if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. That's all from me in a bit.